Hi, my name is Dave Andrews. Today I'm going to show you how to make mailing labels from an Excel spreadsheet. Let's go to our computer. We're going to open up Excel, go into All Programs, Microsoft Office, and let's open up Excel. Now I have a document created here called people.xlsx. Uh, what I've done is in the first row, I put first name, last name, address, city, state, and zip. And what I'm going to do after that first row is I'm just going to start typing some people's names. So if I type here, you know, I add a person by adding in their, their uh, information. And then let's just save that once we have our list of people created and close it. Now what we're going to do is a, is a word mail merge to create our uh, labels. So click all programs. Go to Microsoft Office and open up Word. What we're going to do here is we're going to go to Mailings and then we're going to click Select Recipients under the Start Mail Merge tab and click Use Existing List. Let's go to the Documents where I have my Excel spreadsheet saved. There's people.xlsx. I'm going to choose it and click Open. It's going to ask me what sheet in the workbook I'd want to use. I'm going to use sheet one because that's the default. And the first row of my data contains the column headers. Let's click OK there. Now let's click Edit Recipient List. As you can see, this is loaded in the information here. There's my last name, first name, address, city, state, and zip. It's, it's already uh, interpreted all that and loaded it in for a mail merge. So click OK. Now click Start Mail Merge. And we're going to go with labels. I'm going to use the Avery uh, 5154 uh, template, but basically you would choose the uh, whatever label uh, sheets you have bought. You would choose the maker of that and the template for the design that you uh, were going to go with. So I'm just going to pick uh, one of these here and click OK. Now. I'm going to insert an address block by clicking here, Write and Insert Fields, Address Block. Now it gives you a preview of what that address is going to look like formatted. There's only two records, so click OK, and then click Finish and Merge, and just click on Edit Individual Documents. We're going to merge all those records in. So there are the records out of my uh, Excel spreadsheet that have been loaded into Word for a mail merge. My name is Dave Andrews and I've just showed you how to create mailing labels using Excel.